Hello everyone, I am Hotel, and welcome to my Mega Constructs Halo UNSC Strategic Operations Base, an SOB, or SOB for short. This is SOB Hotel, and originally I was envisioning it to be a UNSC bastion created on Zeta Halo, using scrapped parts from ships and vehicles. Unfortunately, from how Rubicon Protocol makes the ring landing seem, this is very unlikely to have happened. So, realistically, it's just a UNSC base anywheres at any point in time. At first, we have the front area of the base, so this is just this entire front area front of the wall. There's a decent amount going on here, so we're going to start with this uh, Falcon area with the Marines out front. All of these Marines just finished a mission, so they're being pulled off by their squad leads right here. And they're just at the ready in case a banshee comes for a strafe or any hostiles show up. They're just ready to respond to any threats that happen. Uh, it's a very nice little falcon like this set. So here we have some ODSTs getting ready. They have their squad leader in gold uh, motioning for all of the ODSTs to board. We have a decent variety of weapons in the squad, so they're just going to board and go on a mission. Uh, here we have some bunkers or sandbag emplacements here on both sides of the door. So on the left side here, we just have some infantry. We have a chain gun. Uh, you can see that all right here. The chain gun's a nice little feature. I like it. Just someone sits there and uses it. Uh, we have some boxes over here. I think that's a flashbang sitting on it. And then this fun little flap that just goes up and down. Uh, doesn't really have any meaning, it's just fun, you see enemies show up, you flop it up and hide behind it. On the other side, we have the same thing. Uh, just some sandbag emplacements, there's a squad here with a flag with the UNDC symbol on it. Uh, just shotguns, rifles, and one guy with a spanker. Sort of anti-tank trooper, I guess. Uh, they're just here protecting it. Right here we have a control panel. This is for the door. I don't know how practical this is in-universe because it's just kind of outside, but it's here, so that's where it is. Right here we have a barricade against vehicles, so there's some sandbags and this little bar that'll come up and it prevents any vehicles from getting in. Realistically, it's not going to stop anything, but hey, I just wanted something there to represent that it was closed off to vehicles coming in. So just put it back, and there's the entryway. Up next we have this little catwalk area. It's elevated at the same height as the wall, as you can see here. It just has a, a few marines up there, a Spartan laser, some riflemen, and a sniper. Uh, it has a pretty good vantage point about in front of the base, just for any shooting out during battles at the base. Next we have the door system here. It has a, a sliding feature just to slide shut. Sometimes it gets caught like that, but it just slides open and slides closed, just as you see there. Coming back from the walkway, we have a staircase down onto a landing platform. This landing platform typically just has a wasp sitting on it. Uh, if it's needed, it can just launch up and immediately get into battle or go off on patrol. Uh, down off the staircase, you have a little checkpoint with a machine gun turret and some infantry. Uh, as you can see, there's a control panel right there with some extra infantry defending it just in case while the door keeps getting open and closed for deployments. We have a lot going on in the courtyard, so I'm going to try and cover it all, but I might miss a few things. To begin, we have some warthogs right here preparing for a mission. There's some drivers here and a gunner sitting here talking about the mission that's about to happen. Uh, just talking. Here, this warthog is a little modified. It has some siding panels on the side of it. Uh, you can use it for cover, blocking against anything. It's good to have improvisation on a mission. Uh, on the back of the two warthogs here, we have two artillery pieces that are being mounted. So this one is actually being mounted on with a marine doing it and then another marine watching in case something goes wrong. And over here we have a trooper motioning for the other trooper to push the artillery piece into the back of the warthog to be latched. Uh, next we have a little meeting here with a lieutenant. This lieutenant is an officer, and you can tell by his green helmet compared to the gold of everyone else. So he's just aggressing a group of artillerymen, the people in gray shirts, and just preparing them for the mission that they're about to go on. 
Uh, he's the lieutenant for all of the recon teams. He's in charge of extra ba or out of base activities. Uh, here's a unit of some marines. They have a sergeant and a corporal addressing them, just preparing for their deployment because they're going to be going with the warthogs. So they're all armed and ready to go. Uh, right behind them, you have just two marines defending the barracks. And this leads into our motor pool area. So we have some supplies being guarded here by some marines. Uh, there's this little covering over the supplies so that it's being saved from any aerial views, but it doesn't really matter because everything else is gray, so camo's not going to help. So in the motor pool, we have some Razorbacks. Uh, normally there'd be Warthogs other things here, but I ran out of room because of the walls, so the Warthogs just kind of sit out or somewhere else or on missions while the Razorbacks sit here. Uh, but yeah, they'd be over there normally. Uh, it also features this custom artillery truck that I built. I don't really like it that much, so I'm not going to show it off here, but uh, sorry. Here's a little uh, piece that attaches to the back of a vehicle. It's a little support thing, and it has some rifles on it, so it's good for any troop deployments. The courtyard leads off into a whole bunch of different areas, buildings, rooms, and all that, so I'm just going to go over all that with you now. So first things first, leading out of the courtyard, we have this garage. So this is where the recon team stores their warthogs, prepares the warthogs, repairs the warthogs, gears them up, gears them down, mongooses, gun gooses, any vehicle really comes in here. So you can see a guy working on a mongoose here that's got lifted up. Uh, we have some guards here, some spare tires, some more people just around. These guys working on warthogs, making sure they're ready to go out to combat. This guy's refueling a warthog. Uh, some little detail in here that I really like. Uh, there's a little mesh thing here on this back door that you can pull up to not have it in the way so it doesn't block the door, and then you can just let it back down and it blocks it. It's not really a stopper, it's just a nice little detail. Right next we have the marine barracks. Uh, it used to be a lot bigger and nicer in here, but I needed to steal some space and parts, so I just made it a bit smaller. There's only two bunks here. Uh, so there's bunks, the, there's a person sleeping there with their sack next to them, and then there's just a little upstairs area. There used to be more things in here. This is really just a neglected area because it's usually against my wall, but uh, it's still a barracks. Up next we have the armory. This is where the marines will come to get their weapons and gear up. They'll enter through this door right here, and there's a little window right there for the armorer to pass things over. Uh, they can also talk to him. He gets lonely sometimes, I suppose, in this room. Uh, down here, there's a guard preventing anyone from getting in, and it just leads into some weapon racks here, uh, some shovels, rockets, pistols, and then we just have a lot of shotguns and ARs sitting here. Uh, there's a nice little build for them. Some missile pods right here. And you can see some uh, cargo and then the gray shirt troopers that I call the munitions troopers. So that's why you saw them handling the artillery outside. So they just hang out in the armory. This is where they are. This is where they be. And lastly, we have the command center or the op center. This is a two-stage floor. Uh, it has two marines on guard duty. It's hard to see them with the lighting. I'm sorry about that. I don't have anything better at the moment. Going up the stairs, you have a window and a balcony that looks out into the courtyard. On the far wall, there's some command area where there's some marines manning comms and radar stations. They're just sitting around monitoring their resources and enemy resources. Down here, we have the duty officer. He's sitting here with his little laptop at his desk. There's some safe boxes. He's got a shotgun ready in case. Uh, his laptop, there's another command console for other things. Uh, going up the stairs, we have the commanding officer's office. So this is the biggest single room, I think, for any person. It's at the top of the stairs in here. You have the CO right here and the XO right there. Uh, since these are officers, they both have those green tinted visor and helmets. So they're just discussing strategy. The CO has a desk here. He's got a pistol in that barrel and just a little computer. So that's it for this base that I built. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear what everyone has to say about this. 
I'm really proud of this base. It sits right behind my work desk at home, so I see it very frequently, and I'm just really proud of how it turned out. It took me probably three revisions to get here, and I think this is where I want to be going forward. My next goal with the base is to start expanding the outside uh, away from the base, building some trenches, and putting up some trees and other sort of wilderness feelings so it feels like you're actually out in the wild.